Gene Simmons loves you, so it's a good night. <laughs> Hair Metal Night, what do you now love most about this era? Oh my gosh, I mean, we got to hear every song tonight that, that we all love uh, and, and see some special movement from, from everyone tonight. It was awesome, you know, I mean, we all love this genre and, and it's good to dress up like a rock star. I didn't think I would love this night very much. Really? Why? <laughs> I just didn't really grow up with that, so I think like it wasn't very nostalgic for me or any of that, which I feel like most people it is. But I was like literally rocking out every single song and every dance, so I'm a fan now. You love, love hair metal. metal. I love hair metal now. What is one thing that surprised you about yourself this week? Um, just showing up uh, eager every day, honestly. Like, at, at times you feel like you're going to hit a wall, but you just want to, you know, buckle down and focus in. And the next thing you know, four hours go by and, you're, and you've learned, like, half a dance. So um, it's, it's just, it's, it's great to wake up every day, like, eager to learn. Yeah. And Whitney, you are the teacher. You're the leader, right? But what is one thing that Danny has taught you on this journey? Honestly, just his persistence, like, like I literally want to take a break and he's like, nope, let's do it again. Let's keep going. What can I do to get better? So I think honestly, just learning like that rededication to like what I love and what he's like learning to love too has been really cool to kind of see that combination. You guys are such a good duo. He's like, put me in coach. I'm ready at all times. Exactly. He's always like, put me in, put me in. I'm like, whoa. Hold on. And this is something you've never done before. Do you think America is getting a chance to see a different side of you that they haven't seen throughout your football career? I, you know, it's it's fun doing cool stuff with cool people, I think. And, and you know, you, you meet, you know, all the pros and then you meet, you know, the athletes that are on here and the celebrities and the, you know, actors and actresses, all these people that are great at their craft. And it's, you form a little bond together. And that's, you know, that's the best part. Is there a theme or a song you guys really want to dance to? Like maybe a childhood dream you'd love to live out in the ballroom. Is there anything like that? I've done so many things, but is there anything you would want to I mean, do? I have three dances under my belt, four dances under four my dances, belt. Four dances, yeah. So, I mean, anything next is, is what I'm excited for, honestly. Very diplomatic answer. Yeah. I mean, is there something, like one theme that you're like dancing? How have you not done this yet? Or have you really done it all? I feel like we've kind of done it all, I'm trying to think. That's you, a very broad, I mean, you, Disney, yeah. 90s. Would you rather do like a freestyle or like a tango? Ooh, yeah. Come you know on, interviewer. No, I'd rather do a freestyle, for sure. Freestyle. I like no boundaries. Like, just right. give me free reign to do what I want. Yeah. What is one thing that you guys have in your rehearsal bag that maybe fans would be surprised to know? Like a drink, a food, a product, anything like that? Paper bowl, uh, oh. uh, massage gun, and that thing is gold. Well, those are the best. Yeah, I have stand, so a Stanley, many. A Stanley Cup and everything else you can a Stanley Cup. That's it. I love my Stanley. I love my Stanley. <laughs> I want to play a little rapid fire with your fellow contestants. Who would be your dream guest judge? Dang, that's a good question. Um, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Um, this is kind of interesting, but Jenna Dewan. Because I feel like she's a really great dancer and she's an actress and she kind of gets it. I think she'd be fun. I think you guys look alike. Now that you just said that, oh, I really? see. I feel like you are almost like a blonde version of her. You guys are so oh. beautiful. I kind of oh. see that now that you said that. Thank as soon as you. I... Thank you. Okay, who is the funniest behind the scenes from your contestants? I think Eric was really funny. He's funny. Eric was Eric really is really funny. funny. <laughs> Alona, I crack up at too. Yeah, like, Alona's she's hilarious. just Everybody's hilarious. naturally funny. Everybody's hilarious. Who would you love to have? Oh, Dwight is so funny. Dwight's so funny. Well, okay, so Dwight said he'd love to have a night out on the town with you. But if you guys could pick one other couple to have a night out on the town with, who are we going with? That's a great question. That's a great question. How would, who would, how would you answer that question? I would like Brandon and Chandler. I think yeah. they're just, they're cool to be around. Yeah. We, Everyone we is cool to be around. We need a couple of Red Bulls. Yeah. yeah Keep up the energy. Who have you gotten closest to that maybe the friendship forming surprised you? I think a, me and Alona have, have gotten really close, and I think it's just because we um, you know, have so much to relate to in, in sports, so it's, it's great to pick her brain and get her ideas about how she got so damn good, you know? Yeah. So. I, yeah, I would say Alona, too. 80s music videos. If you could be in a music video in 2024, whose video are we going into? Sabrina Carpenter's. Yes. I love you. <laughs> I mean, there's so many good ones. You know, Shabuzi for me. Yeah. Yeah. He's on yeah, repeat. He's on repeat. He's on repeat. 